Officers said told him not to reach for his pockets. Hey, how are you guys? He says he has to pee, that's why he's shaking. shaking and said he had to pee and the officer accused him of messing around. They won't let him go to the bathroom. Morning, man.
Wait, start again. Okay, she gave me a, like, a citation that says, must move your vehicle. It says, mm -hmm. it says, appears to be in violation of 72 hour parking limit. Mm -hmm. And I was just parked here overnight, seriously. Mm -hmm. And I get that I'm Appears to be, so there's no evidence that it actually was 72 right, hours. Right, but no. then this car in front of me mm -hmm. is parked here, been here for days, and never mm -hmm. got one violation, or she never marked their tires. Wow. Go look on the other side. You can see the proof that they marked my tires. Yeah. And they didn't mark the other car's tires. Uh huh. And they've been here for days. Really? Yep, I don't see any markings here. Oh, I see a marking there. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. So this is how they mark the tire there. They just did that just now, right? Right, just this very second. Yeah. The officer's name is Jim Baller or whatever, and her badge number. Is 1585. Okay. Yeah. Let me see this thing. So it says your car must be moved. No, they give you actually do you have to pay anything or no? She said that she said that you don't have to pay anything oh. if I if I move it right right now. Oh. But like she's sitting back there. But and she has I'm, no evidence that it was 72 hours. Right. Here. She said it's been called on. I haven't even been here for 72 hours. I have proof that I was not even in the city 72 hours ago. Wow. That's that's bad. So her name is C. C. Gonzalez. And then it says number, so what is that, 519? 518 something. Okay. Thanks for letting me know and we'll see what we can get, Right, and get I told her, I brought it up to her, uh, like, like knowledge. I was like, the car yeah. in front of me has been here for, like every time I'm here, this car is parked right here, never moves, but you never marked its tires or did yeah. anything. Yeah. And I straight up asked her, I'm like, did you not mess with that car because... Mm -hmm like you know we're homeless and we live in this one yeah and she like got all stuttered up mm -hmm. and then sat there and like just started getting on her phone like she wanted to ignore what i was asking her yeah and i told her i was like well i mean by law they're fully in the 15 minute zone mm -hmm. almost to the red zone and yeah. they're not even gonna mark their tires yeah 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 but you're gonna mark mine and supposedly somebody called on my car for being here for how long they just like the appearance of it that's all bottom line right they want yeah it's not a Rolls Royce or something they don't want. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for sharing. I'm gonna sh get, wrap this up and we'll share the video and and try to get you some some uh, more protection. Of course, that's the bottom line. Get to the attorneys and stuff. See what they can do. Tag me in it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds good. So, that's the morning right now at Maxwell Park. It's the 15th of August. Just be share the video. Uh, join Homeless Advocates for Christ on Facebook. Like, sh share, subscribe. We need your help. We need your support to uh, just bring an end to the harassment of the homeless that uh, oftentimes is over the top and unnecessary, you know. So thanks so much for your prayers and support. Um, of course, we don't want anyone out here doing drugs and things like that. We're all for sobriety, but we're also for protecting the rights of those uh, just that are basically in need or, uh, you know, just good average citizens that just, just maybe don't have enough money to make other people happy, whatever it is. But anyway, thanks for your prayers and support. Remember, Jesus was homeless too. May God bless you. You seek first his kingdom always. Bye-bye.